Hello there, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. I'm here in the shop. Just got to make sure that everything's in order. Am I right? I got to make sure that all my clocks are going. I mean, that one's having problems, and that is as well. Everything looks good. Whoa, what is this? Huh, that's a sign. Yeah. That's a sign. It's time for this thing to be wound. So, welcome to another Winding Clock Series video, everybody. I'm going to be winding this rather run-down cuckoo clock. Despite the fact I fixed it, it's still got some problems. But it runs flawlessly. Here's why I say it has, a, it has problems. No bellows and the gong is not working right. Well, it is definitely time to wind this. Let's go ahead and do it. One down. And just like that, we are back in business. And just like that, that makes two cuckoo clocks wound, actually. That's the second one to be wound. So, that was rather easy to do. Just gotta pull the weights up, just like winding the emperor. Well, with all this said, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. I know it was rather brief, but that just shows the art of winding a cuckoo clock. They're very easy. So if you're just a beginner with clocks, or winding them rather, a cuckoo clock is the easier one to wind. So with all that said, thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.